Hello again. In this video I'm going to be talking about more automotive racing and this time it's going to be IndyCar. Like Formula One, IndyCar is an open wheel format. That means the wheels are totally exposed to impacts. There's a front and rear wing. They're easily damaged. And it's a single seater. And that's pretty much where the similarities end, other than you have a choice of two V6s, or turbo V6s. One is from Chevy and one's from Honda. Unlike Formula One, each team does not build their own car. Rather, they get the car from the Delara. And it is specced by, or basically, Delara builds it to IndyCar spec. It's a spec series except for the engine. Now, at one point, they had what they called aero kits. G or Chevy and Honda both came up with different aero kits that added more downforce and tried to reduce the drag. However, those were deemed too expensive and they were causing problems with the cars simply because they were, they were too fragile. Normal wings are fragile, but these were easily damaged. So they had to come up with something else and Basically, they went back to a Delara only chassis, where Delara specified the entire car. Now, at one point, IndyCar kind of split up. They went off in two different directions. And this occurred because the owner of IndyCar at the time, Tony George, wanted to reduce costs. And so he decided that they were only going to race on ovals. Well, a lot of these teams didn't like that, so they went off and formed a different series. And this was initially went by the older name, Kart, which was really what the series had gone by for years before that. And the Indy car kind of went in the other direction as I said. What CART eventually did was they became Champ Car, but after a couple decades they really were having troubles making ends meet. And so the two series merged again. And now the series is actually owned by a guy you might have heard about, Roger Penske. He's the new owner, apparently just recently bought it, along with IndyCar's most famous track, the Indy Speedway, or Indianapolis Speedway, where they hold the Indy 500. Now, when Cart was doing it, in Champ Car, they used a very dangerous fuel, but provided a lot of power, and that was methanol. It provided the extra power because it had oxygen already in it. Remember, for fire, you need oxygen, heat, and a fuel. Well, they've already got fuel or oxygen in the fuel, so it ignites quite readily. And one of the the dangerous part about methanol is that it burns with an invisible flame. And there are videos of people on the or on web or on YouTube or there are videos on YouTube where people are on fire and you can't tell and they're waving their arms around trying to get somebody to put their fire out. Because otherwise you just can't tell without an infrared camera. 
But anyway, after the merger, IndyCar went back to E85 now. And as I said, it's a term. Both manufacturers have to use a, I think it's a 2.6 liter twin turbo V6 or something like that. Turbo V6 anyway. And so the manufacturers have done different things. I talked about the aero kits. There are really only two manufacturers, well, excuse me, not manufacturers, teams that are of only are likely to win. There will be other drivers from other teams that win occasionally, but these two teams are the only ones that win on a regular basis enough to for one of their drivers to win a championship. And that's Dixon, or I'm thinking Scott Dixon, uh, Ganassi, and Penske. They're the only ones. And whether Penske decides to step back or not, I don't know, but he may decide in the interest of eliminating the conflict of interest to, to sell his team so there is as I said no conflict of interest IndyCar is different than Formula 1 because not all of their tracks are ovals or are road courses some are road courses which means basically it looks like a road in fact sometimes it's a specific type of road course called the street course in which case they use real streets and real street courses provide a heck of a problem because they have a crown and sometimes that crown fights the car most tracks they just kind of angle the whatever considering whatever drainage is needed. But with in road or street courses, that's kind of impossible because you have to be a normal street most of the time. Frankly, I don't care for ovals or even the speedway. It's just all that turning left and that's one reason why I hate NASCAR so much is that all you do is turn left, turn left, turn left. Plus in NASCAR's case, all the cars are the same. Turn a Toyota into a Chevy, into a Ford, and then the next week it might be a Dodge. And then still after that, you could quickly turn it into a pickup. All from my coupe. And these coupes, well, they look like two doors. They're technically rear-wheel drive, but they might look a lot like a front-wheel drive car with a V6, not a V8. And the car is supposed to look like isn't a coupe, it's a sedan. An example would be the Ford Fusion. Now, that's kind of why I prefer the, the, the Void NASCAR. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoy it. And click that notification bell. Be sure to share the file or the video. Thank you. Bye.